We just built a nightstand with a tiny barn door. And we'll show you how we did it right now. Welcome back. Today we're doing a barn door nightstand. Last week we did a bed and today we're gonna do a matching barn door nightstand. To go with it. To go with it. All right, we've already done all of our cuts and our pocket holes. I'll show you a quick little thing over my shoulder here about that. And then we'll slide in the cut list right here. All right, we'll give you guys a second. Oh. Ooh, wow, you're back, yeah. All right, you guys, let's start putting it together. So we're using these plans from our friends at Shanty to Chic to make this barn door nightstand. We're gonna start with attaching the bottom to the sides using pocket hole screws. We're gonna attach the bottom two and three quarters up from the bottom of the side. Bottom of the board to the bottom of this line? Yes. From this bottom? All right, cool. Yes. And you want it flush to the front, leaving a quarter inch in the back for the backing. All right, great. Now we need to attach the other side. So we'll be painting this one, so we're not as concerned about the glue, but if you're staining it, you don't want to get leave the glue onto the wood because it won't stain. So I see a little bit of glue leakage here. I'm just gonna wipe it off. Step two, we're going to add the center shelf 12 and 3 quarters inches from the top of the cabinet to the top of the shelf. We'll inset it 3 fourths of an inch from the front to allow for trim and a quarter inch from the back to allow for the backing. Glue and attach it with 1 and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Pocket holes. Step three, we're going to add the uh, one by two support bracket to the top back. So we're going to inset it a quarter of an inch and then pocket hole, screw it into the sides, both sides. Make sense? Yep, makes sense. Step four, we'll add the front shelf trim, center shelf. Using a half by three quarter inch board and pinning it with one and a quarter inch brad nails. Mmm, so tight, such a tight fit. Ah. Cut perfect, great job. Thanks babe. Almost done. Almost. Don't forget to subscribe. Step five, we're going to assemble the face frame. Face frame. <laughs> face frame. <laughs> okay, go again. All right, we're gonna use the one by fours and the one by twos, and we're gonna pocket hole the front pieces to the side pieces. Front pieces to the side pieces. Frame. Step six. We're just going to attach the face frame <laughs> to the front of the nightstand. Remember to put the pocket holes at the top. Line it up, make sure it's square. 
We'll do one side first. We're going to attach it with uh, one and a quarter inch brad nails. glue on the other side. Step seven, we're going to add the side trim pieces and step eight is to add the front trim piece. So just glue it and tack it with a brad nail. Almost done. Step nine, we're gonna attach the top. We're gonna place it on upside down. The top will be flush with the back and a quarter inch overhang on the sides and the front. Yeah, that's good. All right, we're one. going to attach using the pocket hole screws. is attached. Oh, this one's so heavy. Looks good though. Look at it. Looks great. Oh, look pretty good. Almost done. <laughs> Step 10, we'll add the trim around the top using the half by three quarter inch trim boards. You'll measure and cut these to fit. You want to attach the sides first so that the front trim overhangs the sides. All right, trim all right, all set. that looks good. That's what we got so far. Step 11, attach the back. We're using quarter inch plywood. Fills in the quarter inch gap that we have. Oh my goodness, it's such a tight fit. It fits perfectly. It fits perfectly. Mm. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Flush over there. Here, yeah, push this bottom. Alright. Yeah, push, just push. Oh. Push. Like push against me. What? <laughs> it's machine gun state life. <laughs> five. It's five staples right there. Step ten. Twelve. Step. Step twelve. We're gonna make a tiny barn door. <laughs> So we're just going to glue these little pieces and then pocket hole them together. Alright, last part of step 12 is to attach the hardware to the barn door. We were lucky enough to find this barn door hardware at Hobby Lobby for $3.99. $3.99. On clearance. So we got two of them. We bought all they had. All two of them. All two of them. <laughs> Alright, we just drilled some pilot holes and we're attaching them with some screws that we spray painted black. All right, barn door hardware is on. Step 13, like and subscribe if you like today's video. It's down there. <laughs>
And then last thing we'll do is sand and paint and put it in the bedroom. I'll attach this last piece of hardware. Oh, right. We're gonna attach that after we paint though. So, uh, I'll meet you guys upstairs. Door's on, babe. Hardware's on. All done. Looks good. Looks good. All right. subscribe and share these videos if you enjoy them and until next week why don't you check something out over here uh, one of these will do both of these will do and we'll see you guys next week see you next week <laughs> <laughs>